Hello and thank you for joining us. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. Yes, yes you did. You just saw the Cody symbol right here on the Apple TV. This is the current generation Apple TV or some people call it the Apple TV 4 and you can add Cody to the Apple TV without any sort of trickery. You don't really have to, you don't have to unlock a system, you don't have to mess with the settings, but you do need some equipment and I'm going to tell you all about that. You're going to need a Mac computer. You're going to need a USB type C cord that can connect up with the you know, USB in the back of the Apple TV. And you're going to need a couple of programs that we're going to link in the description for this video. We also have a full written guide on the streamingadvisor.com that will give you a great idea of what you have to do in order to make this work. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Boom. Okay, so what we want to show you here before we go through all the steps is that Cody actually works on this thing. So it would kind of stink to watch a whole video showing you how to do something that didn't actually matter. So we're just going to go into videos. I'm going to go to add-ons. And we have one thing installed right now, ABC Family. But what you have when this starts up, of course, is the standard group of Kodi apps. And like I said, so we're going to go hit ABC Family and just show you starting it up and move on from there. How about Baby Daddy? Okay. I gotta love that blue hair. I think that's her natural color. Ta -da! Hey, the wedding prep is finally done, everybody. Okay, so that is just a you know a quick snippet of Cody actually working. So now you know that it really does something. So Let's show you how that gets in place in the first place. What we're going to do here is take you to the streamingadvisor.com. <laughs> the magic of television here. Okay. So here we are at the streamingadvisor.com, our website. And right now, you know, if you're looking at this right now, it's a brand new story. So it's right at the top. But if you ever have to find it, just go to the search and write how to install Cody on Apple TV. You search it. And there it is. So we're going to click on that story, and here you are. What we have here for you is a guide that has everything you're going to need to have. You're going to need a Mac computer. You're going to need a USB-C cable so that you can plug it into the back of the Apple TV. You're going to need to have a Mac developer account. You're also going to need this software, iOS App Zinger, Cody's Nightly Builds, and Xcode 7 or higher. You know, by the time you see this, it might be 7.4. I think it's 7.2 right now. And what we've done on the page is given you step by step by step directions as to what to do. We're going to show you a video, but I sometimes find that videos can, you know, maybe gloss over something or maybe, you know, somebody goes too fast. And I do my best not to do that, but, you know, sometimes it happens. So. Let's close this out and I'll show you what you do. You're going to start with this program here, Xcode. The link to download it is on the guide that will be linked in this description. You start with create a new Xcode project. Because we're working with TVOS through the Apple TV, 
you're going to select application under tvOS you see that right here and go to single view application and press next up here you're gonna name it like you know I name I might name it because it's me I might name it you know the streaming advisor Cody demo my organization's name the organizational name is based on your Apple ID your organization identifier is always going to be com com dot and then whatever you name your first thing so you know, like I, I did a did something earlier called a streaming advisor Cody so it's com dot streaming advisor Cody see if I just write demo Okay, so from here what you do is press next and don't, don't worry about anything else on the screen right now just press create and you get to this screen here what you look for here is you want to make sure that your build number your bundle number reflects what you typed in in the first place which is as you see the streaming advisor demo and our team is Ryan Downey. You know, if you look at the drop down here, it's Downey Ryan M again. So we go to fix issue. And that's going to resolve it. And you want to select up here and go to where it says Apple TV because that's how the machine will know that you're actually working with Apple TV. So you close this out and go into the program called iOS App Zinger or Signer. I'm not going to argue about that right now. You open it up and you have the input file. What you do with the input file is you say browse, you go into the desktop here select desktop and you go over and select the Cody nightly build that you download with the directions and you open next you go to where it says provisioning profile and you choose the download that you're going to use we're going to do this was Kobe at my demo and you say start from here you go to save and you're going to replace most of the time you're just going to be able to save but because this is something you know I'm doing after I tested it before we're saving over something and what you're gonna get is something like this you see these little music notes guys looks like it's replacing it right now packing IPA and the IP like I said the IPA is this guy see it says Cody IPA but it's gonna unload the new one it's done and it's there okay so next we go back to that Xcode program and from here you close to where it says window up here you go to devices and you see you've got an Apple TV here this means that the Apple TV is connected with the Mac computer and under the installed apps it has Cody already because we installed it but all you have to do to install it is go to the plus sign and select the Cody IPA that we put in place you press open 
and the Apple TV will get it loaded. Shouldn't take too, too long. Now, just a special note, you do want to make sure that the Apple TV is loaded with the latest version of the operating system. Let's see, it should be loaded by now. And there it is. Cody, see it loaded again. We had it before, there it is again. I'm just going to get rid of that one because I've already done some things with the other one. But that is all it takes. It's actually very easy. But just so you know, word of advice, you want to make sure that you've got the latest TV OS. You can make sure you do before you even get started with this by going into Settings, System, and Software Updates. You check it here and say Update Software. We have the latest software updates, which is why this process worked. But that is how you put Cody onto the latest Apple TV. Like I said, no hacks, you know, no, no changing the hardware itself, just using some basic stuff. I hope that was helpful, and if you thought so, please subscribe. We're trying to reach as many people as we can and help as many people as we can. So subscribe. Share the video with your friends, and as always, stream on, my friends.